Okay, so this is where we left off. We have a tic-tac-toe game in single player mode. And the next few videos I'm going to turn this game into a two players mode or a multiplayer mode. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this game.py. So refactor rename to server.py. And I'm also going to create a new Python file called the client client.py and I'm just going to select all copy and paste into the client.py everything from the server.py and I'm going to start with the server so for now I'm just going to close the client and uh, one more thing these uh, videos are based on this tutorial on realpython.com slash python sockets I'm going to add this um, link to the description so it is about the socket programming in python I encourage you to go to this link and read through uh, this tutorial because it is a very well uh, very good information, very very well written information. And the second thing is uh, I already added the, the single player mode to GitHub and I am added the uh, link to the description in the last video where I, where I finished the single mode. So let's get started. So here after the um, set caption, I'm going to import the socket library and this is needed to actually create the sockets for networking. So I'm going to define two variables. One is the host and its value will be the IP address of the local host which is 127.0.0.1.1 and also a port and the port will be just uh, 65432 so the next thing I'm going to create a boolean variable called connection connection established which will start as false and I'm also going to create a socket object so I'm going to name it just sock and use the socket library socket.socket .socket. and the first argument to this function is the socket that uh, this is the protocol, IPv protocol, so I'm going to use a, a f underscore inet which is IPv, IPv4 and the next argument is the socket socket dot sock stream sock underscore stream so and SOC stream is for TCP uh, networking or TCP sockets. So this is the socket, uh, I mean the protocol, which is uh, IPv4, and this is the socket family, which is uh, the TCP. And there's also, I, I think, the DGRAM for UDP. The next thing I am going to do is bind the socket, so not sick but sock, sock that bind and as a tuple I am going to give it the host and the port, port and don't forget that this needs to be in a tuple and uh, the last thing I am going to set up 
the listen method so sock that listen and it should listen to one connection and if you have uh, if you want to accept multiple connections then you need to do here let's say if you are doing a game with five players then change this to five but I'm just going to leave it as one. So now that we have a socket object, we bound it to the host and the port and we are listening to a connection. Now we are going to create a connection and also an address variable and set it equal to the sock, sock that accept. So accept will accept uh, connections and the most important thing is I'm going to add it here uh, as a comment it will wait for a connection connection and it it is a blocking um, function or blocking uh, method so until until it receives a connection here the application will just hang so it will stop the execution by this line and it will wait for a connection so uh, let me let me run this and you will see that our uh, the window will be created by it but it won't be uh, responsive so let me show you run server now as you can see the window is created but there is no grid i cannot click and it says tic-tac-toe not responding and this circle also the mouse cursor changes to this circle so although i can move the window but i cannot do can can do nothing with this window so I'm just going to close this and to actually prevent this in the next video I'm going to add uh, this uh, sock that accept into a separate thread because this um, sock that accept method blocks the main thread before I finish the video, I just want to show you one more thing. This the socket that af underscore inet and the socket uh, that sock underscore stream are the default. So if you want, you can just leave them out. So if you open up the sock that socket, you can see it creates a new socket object and these are the defaults so family af underscore inet and type sock underscore stream but uh, i'm just going to leave them here as for reference